It's been just 60 years that God has opened the door for gospel in this country. It's been just 60 years. God is working here. Nepal's situation is not as it was before. Slowly it's changing in both ways, positive and negative. People are more receptive, but the government and the constitution, there are lots of problems, no? The only uh, fear is if they openly, publicly believe and, you know, come to faith, then they are outcast from the society. That is the only thing which is holding them back, actually. While people are becoming Christian in the multitude, leaders are not being born overnight. So when the young church is asking for good, strong leadership, uh, they're not finding it in many places. The resources in Kathmandu, in our local church, is all just tightly packed here. We can only be here at one time. So media helps us multiply that resource. Radio is the very effective way because roads are not constructed well. There aren't proper means of transportation. Most of the Nepal is villages and people don't have internet facilities. It's hard for people to go to the places where the message is being preached, but they can listen to the radio. Where we are not uh, being able to reach, the media is there. There are many kind of tribes around the Nepal and they have their own ethnic language, but beautiful part is that they also understand Nepali. My job is to edit Pastor Urban's Saturday sermon and create a radio program of 30 minutes to give it to the radio stations. From radio, one sermon can reach, you know, countless peoples. The studio has been a great blessing for us to be able to record a lot of our talk shows and music and we bring in experts, even make creative productions so that the people in the villages in remote places can listen to that and, and learn from that because they can't go to Bible college or they can't go attend seminars and training so often. So when I preach in church, I have two focus. One is the immediate context, you know, people listening to me. But I preach not only to them, but I preach through them to the radio audience because I realize that leaders in the villages need to hear this message and how would they learn? How would they see the Christian and Reformed worldview play into effect as they lead their communities? This is our goal, to see God's kingdom extending in this country through media. And then one day, the whole Nepal and Nepali community will accept Christ and surely we will see the God's kingdom here in Nepal. Our mission is to become disciples who make disciples. My job is to see that leaders are raised uh, because otherwise he can't multiply, he can't go very far. We want to see that young people are capturing this vision and if we can train them and teach them to see the world the way God wants us to see, then they're going to lead the community of the future generation.